What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're doing a 100 subscriber giveaway. When I hit that 100 mark, I'm gonna randomize everybody's name, hit the button, it's gonna pick who the winner is. So what I'm giving away today, a couple different soft plastic spinner bait jigs, a couple of crank baits, everything that I use and throw. And so far it's done me pretty good. Uh, starting off, chartreuse crank bait. This dives two to five feet. It is a square bill. It does does the trick for me. Um, Josh and I went out one time on the river and we were fishing for smallmouth bass. We ended up tearing up the white bass with this and I actually got a big 18 inch three pound smallie. So this bait does the trick. Next up, I've got a red Tennessee crawl. I like to throw on the lake. It is the red Tennessee craw, craw color does the job well for me again it dives two to five feet most of the crankbaits that I use I keep them pretty shallow uh, one of the things I pulled it out of the package and wanted to rig it up for you guys so you could see is the white spinner mine is a little different it has a little red on it and then of course the gold willow blade so I, I really like that setup I ended up catching a couple of smallies on the river with that, so that's one of my favorite setups. Uh, good uh, football jig. This time of the year, you won't really want to hit these lakes, these rivers, with this uh, green pumpkin and uh, purple color in it. So this, this jig is one of my favorite jigs to throw. A couple of trailers. I like to use these, uh, these yellow tournament series. You can get them at Bass Pro. That's my, my spot to shop. Uh, normally I throw these on a spinner bait, a chartreuse spinner bait in the spring, summer. Normally they pound it. You'll see me throwing this a lot this summer, especially in these jet boat tournaments. Other than that, I like to use the Strike King little six inch worms. These have a red, black, yellow color to them, orange color. Uh, normally I just throw these weedless on a four, size four hook and uh, you'll, again, you'll see me using this a lot this summer. Um, can't go wrong with the Shadalicious, gosh, Strike King. They, they do the job, especially if you are throwing an Alabama rig or Tennessee rig, as they call it, since you can only use three hooks in Tennessee. And we got the swim heads to go with those. So this, I use the size 1 8 ounce, they seem to do the trick for me. Um, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to throw is the Rage Tail Black and Blue. I throw that with a black and blue jig and it does amazing for me. Especially when the water is muddy, you throw that out there, chances are you're gonna get a bite. Normally what I'd like to do, and I will show you, I like to take them out and here it is. I like to split off the end there. And what I'll do is I'll cut about that much off of the jig. Slide it on there, that way all you're really seeing after the jig tail hits is just that, just like that. And um, like I said, large mouth, small mouth, they love it. It's one thing you'll definitely see me throw this summer. A new thing that I have gotten into is the net rig. And my new favorite thing is called the Finesse TRD Meat Dog. It is, I'll get this one out of the pack too to show you. It is a purple and black. And that is actually what I placed ninth with in this previous tournament. It's just a little two inch, 2.75 inch TRD. Uh, you throw it on a net rig and cast it out there. Again, in, in my last video, you probably saw me just working it on the bottom, just dragging it across the bottom. I had a couple of fish I wasn't even recording. I actually ended up catching six that day, looked back at my camera multiple times and I wasn't recording, but that's just part of it. I'm still getting used to, to recording while I'm fishing. So, And to top it all off, you guys have probably saw that famous red chatterbait going around. Well, I have one of the tricks to that is throwing this guy right here. This is a rage tail, same, same as the black and blue, just in red. And it does, the funny thing about rage tail is I like to buy rage tail because it smells like coffee. And bass, the thing about bass is they, 
they like to to use all their senses you know we all know they feel vibration but one thing we don't really know is they also go by scent so once they get that strong coffee scent that vibration that a chatterbait going they're going to slam that and uh, you can't go wrong with with the rage tail in red so uh, yeah guys that is that's what i'm giving away hopefully it, it, it helps you guys out as much as it's helped me those are my favorite things to fish with um again 100 subscribers once we hit that mark i'm going to do the giveaway i'm going to send it to you personally deliver it to you if you're local however i need to get it out to you i'm going to take care of it so so this is just a free giveaway just subscribe show some love and again guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one